polynomial equations. And we are trying to factor these equations. So we have here factor when the roots are not rational. So here is a polynomial p of x which is equals to x to the power of 6 minus 3x squared minus 2. So if we use our factor theorem then the possible factors for this are factors of minus 2 right which are plus and minus 1 and plus and minus 2 correct. Now if I write p of 1 then I don't get 0. So it will be 1 minus 3 minus 2 which is not equal to 0 right. Similarly if I do p of minus 1 what do I get? I get minus 1 to the power of 6 is 1 and this is again minus 3 and 2. It's not 0 still right. So if I test for p of minus 2 uh, minus 2 to the power of 6 and minus 3 times 4 square. So 2 to the power of 6 is what? 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Let me write 64 here. And minus 2 square is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 2. This is also not 0, right? Minus 12 minus 2 is minus 14, not 64. And if I try P of 2, I get the same thing because it's kind of even roots, right? So it is 64 minus 12 minus 2. So none of them is 0. Therefore, we do not have any rational roots for this, right? We don't have, so no rational roots, correct? If one of them would have been 0, we could have divided this and then solved our equation or factored the polynomial, correct? But now we can't do it. So what we can do here is take help of substitution. So let's think like this. We could write this as we can substitute x squared as something. So let's substitute some uh, u with let us say x. Okay. Let's say u equals to x squared. X squared. In that case, the polynomial, let me write small p, p of x equals to u to the power of 3 minus 3u minus 2. So, so then the equation becomes u cube minus 3u minus 2. Now, now let's again try uh, the different rational roots for this equation. So it could be plus minus 1 or plus minus 2. So let's try plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. Which one gives us a 0? Now, let's say if I try minus 1, so, so p of minus 1 will be, I should write pu here because I substituted u, so this now polynomial is in u, so it is p of u, polynomial in terms of u as my variable, okay. So minus 1 cube is minus 1 and minus 1 times minus 3 is plus 3 minus 2 which is equal to 0. So p of minus 2 is actually a 0, right? So that means we got a factor and the factor is u plus 1, correct? So we can divide this by u plus 1 and get the other factors. So let's try to do that. So let me divide this by u plus 1. So let me use a different ink. So we have u plus 1, we'll divide this u square u cube minus 3u minus 2. So, well, I need to redo because I need to write here the term which was with 0, right? So, let me do it here now. So I'll divide this by u plus 1, divide by, so you have to fill in with zeros, right? So you got u cube. Let me write plus 0u square minus 3u minus 2. So this will go u square times. We have u square plus u. When you take away, you get u square. That means 0. This is u cube. 0 u square. And then when you take this, you get u 
minus u square here correct so it becomes u square times u is u cube and u square times 1 is u square and when you take away you get minus u square bring down the next term which is minus 3u now we can multiply this by u in the quotient so it becomes minus u square minus u which will give us minus 2u minus 2 and now I can multiply this by minus 2 so we get minus 2u minus 2 which is 0 correct so so I can write this polynomial u cube minus 3u minus 2 as equal to u plus 1 times u square minus u minus 2 correct so this is how I can write this polynomial so kind of I factored it now this is minus 2 you can get by multiplying minus 2 by 1 so this can also be factored right so let me write this as equal to u plus u plus 1 times this could be factored as u minus 2 times u plus 1 okay so I get u plus 1 whole square times u minus 2 right so that is the factored form and what is u for me u is x square so let me write this as x square plus 1 whole square and I get here x square minus 2 so so I get my factored form of the polynomial and let me write down the answer finally which is like x square plus 1 whole square and this actually you can write like x plus square root 2 times x minus square root 2 right now have a good look at it so now you realize that actually we don't have any rational roots here and therefore we could not factor it earlier so the roots are real numbers square root 2 plus and square root 2 minus and square root 2 plus and complex roots you see that so we have combination of real and complex roots so that gives us complex roots right and these are real roots not rational right not rational why square root 2 is not a rational number because it cannot be written in the form of p over q correct so so if you don't have real roots or if you don't have rational roots then at times it becomes very difficult to factor a polynomial and you may have to adopt the techniques which I've shown you here I hope you appreciate it right and do write down your comments if you have any problems understanding it let me know so what we did was we first checked does it have any rational root so the possible were plus minus 1 and plus minus 2 and since the remainder was not 0 none of them is a factor so we substituted u equals to x square changed our equation from x to u changed the variable and then factored it easily and got our answer and finally realized that the polynomial had complex roots or real roots which were not rational thank you